Welcome to Envirotube. We know you love wildlife. Boy, do we have wildlife for you today. We have the king of citizen science, Captain Pygmy Possum, Bob Jones. He's going to be showing us some Pygmy Possum habitats. Bob, tell me more. Yes, well, we've got down in the bush here, we've got some Pygmy Possum nest boxes. And we're going to have a look at where the Pygmy Possums have come in and nestled in the nesting material in the nest box. And we're going to have a look at the surrounding environment and see what the Pygmy Possums are feeding on, where they're sheltering, and get some idea of how we can help them recover. Stop the tease, Bob. Are we going to see pygmy possums? Well, we can't guarantee that. Bob, I want pygmy possums. Well, we're going to see where they've been nesting. Bob can't guarantee it, but I can guarantee we're going to show infrared footage of these little animals. So we mightn't actually see them today in the boxes, but we've actually got this footage. So it's going to place it in context for you. You're going to see where they are and what they're doing. Thanks, Bob. Let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Notice the, the, the tea trees and uh, sedges that are typical of swampy areas and heaths flowering at the moment. These are all good pygmy possum food. And here's our nest box. Excellent. This nest box is where we, we found um, pygmy possums in photos. We have a wildlife camera set up on this tree here, this branch here of this paper bark tea tree. And we've got pictures of pygmy possums crawling over here. Yeah, nest box number nine. We did all the right things. We set it close to the, on a rough bark tree. This is a paper bark tea tree. Why rough bark? Pygmy possums love um, to nest in the forks here of these trees. Well, that's not very substantial, is it? No, it's not very substantial. So but a nest box like this, this must be like uh, a mansion. Yeah, we photographed um, endangered heath goannas trying to get into our nest boxes. An exposed location like this will be very vulnerable to for predators. The introduced foxes and cats are also a problem for them. They can easily catch one in there, but it's very, they, they won't be able to catch one in there. In here, we, we restrict the entrance size to a very narrow area where pygmy possums can squeeze in. They love this because this, this simulates a natural hollow and it's got protection. This is a scientific approach. We take a picture of the nest box floor. The next month, the volunteer takes another picture and, and compares it and can see whether the nest box material has been disturbed by a little animal or not. One of the interesting things is you only really know you've got pygmy possums in an area by being able to check these habitats. That's right. And behind Peter is one of the most important habitat plants we've identified. It flowers from January right through to August. You can see the, the banks here see flower spike there when it's in the in the flowering season that is dripping with nectar and we found that by putting a wildlife camera focused on one of those we get a very good indication whether pygmy possums are in an area or not it's got a very distinctive lovely smell they have a brush tip tongue like a rainbow lorikeet and, and it darts in and out getting the blobs of nectar and pollen that's one of their main sources of food and the result for the plant is something like this. You can see the Banksia men there, the little Banksia eyes. They each contain a winged seed, which opens when a bushfire comes through and that falls in the, in the earth and the first rains, it sprouts as a new Banksia plant. So the, the pygmy possums are one of the main pollinators of the Banksias. This Banksia flower spike was unsuccessful, so it wasn't completely pollinated. Whereas this one over near here had a very great success rate, obviously it produced a lot of nectar. Thanks to Ericofolia, it's got to be one of the best wildlife friendly plants around. Not only do pygmy possums eat the nectar, but antichinus, which is a little native mouse, birds, a whole gamut of wildlife, they just love these plants. And when they finish uh, with the nectar, the seeds form and guess what? The ants are into it. So you just have a lot of interest from wildlife generally. Okay, we've seen where Bob's placed the Eastern Pygmy Possum box. We've seen banks of Ericofolia, which they just absolutely love, and in fact, this whole area is surrounded by it. Now Bob's going to have the fun of seeing, is there an Eastern Pygmy Possum in the possum box? Well, you just don't know what you're going to find. I mean, we might not even find a Pygmy Possum. We could find anything. You want to have a look? Yeah, there might be an Antichinus in here. 